Hello viewers, welcome to our channel. Viewers, sometimes when we go to the doctor regarding our illness or if any disease are there, like fever is there or if suppose we have any cold condition is there. So in that case, doctor before giving any medicine, he used to tell us to go and do the CBC test. Now we wonder that why a doctor is suggesting CBC before giving any medicine. So let us know that what is CBC test? You know, before going to any conclusion, the doctor is making any money or just he had some commission with the, you know, lab. That's why he's writing a CBC report. So that's not true always. Sometimes even your condition really needs to do a CBC test before giving you any further treatment. So a CBC means a complete blood count. A complete blood count is a blood test. It gives your uh, doctor the information about your blood and overall health. Actually, CBC helps your doctor to diagnose, monitor and screen for a wide range of diseases, conditions, disorders and sometimes infection also. So first of all, I will tell you that what is complete blood count. So as I told you that a complete blood count is a blood test. It helps your doctor to detect a range of disorder and condition. It also checks your blood for the signs of medication side effect. You know, sometimes what happens if your any treatment is going on or if some medications are uh, already going on then it uh, might show some side effect on your body so to check that doctor will ask you to do cbc test viewers doctor use this test to screen for diseases and adjust treatments so now i will tell you that when is cbc performed or when your doctor will tell you to do cbc in what condition actually he tell you to do a cbc test so you may need a cbc if you have symptoms such as uh, bruising or bleeding fatigue dizziness or weakness is there. Sometimes for fever, nausea and vomiting also doctor will ask you to do CBC. In condition when you have some inflammation uh, means swelling and irritations are there anywhere in the body part then doctor will ask you to do CBC. Even in the joint pain and problem with heart rate or blood pressure also your doctor may ask for CBC. Then because of the CBC result, we can diagnose or monitor many different disorder, condition and infections. By this, we can evaluate our overall health. This also helps us to rule out the conditions, disorder and disease. And we, we can monitor various blood diseases also. So viewers, you know, CBC includes many tests to measure and study red blood cells or white blood cells and even platelets also. So what happened actually? Red blood cells carry oxygen throughout the body, whereas white blood cells are the part of your immune system. So they help our body to fight infections and platelets helps your body clot. So a CBG measures, count, evaluates and studies many aspects of your blood. Now I will tell you what does a CBC detect. So CBG blood test can help your doctor uh, diagnose a wide range of condition, disorder, disease and infection including anemia. Anemia is a condition when there uh, are not enough red blood cells to carry out oxygen throughout the body. Then second one is bone marrow disorders such as myelodysplastic syndrome. Then third one is disorders such as agrinulocystosis, uh, thalassemia and sickle cell anemia. So all these disorders CBG will uh, detect for you. CBC also helps to detect the infections or other problems that cause abnormally low white blood cell count or high white blood cell count. Sometimes CBC help us to detect severe types of cancer including leukemia and lymphoma. If suppose patient is having cancer and he is undergoing a chemotherapy treatment or some other prescription medicines are also there for the cancer, then what happen? This CBC helps us to detect the side effect of chemotherapy and other cancer medicines. Even for the vitamins and the mineral deficiencies, we also do the CBC test. Viewers, actually this CBC test benefits you a lot. This will allow your doctor to monitor your health, screen for diseases and plan and adjust the treatment according to the disease. If we are going to talk about the risk of the, uh, the test, that whether there is any risk involved in the CBC test or not, then CBC is a safe and common test actually. There are no risks involved and your provider only removes a small amount of blood. That is the only risk I can say. And sometimes, rarely I can say, some people feel a little faint or lightheaded after a CBC test is done. Viewers, CBC can predict your life expectancy. So, it is crucial that you learn to read your own CBC report. And today I will tell you how to read your own CBC report. So if your CBC test has been done, 
so you can see there the first thing to check out is the red blood cells where it is written red blood cell rbc so under red blood cell uh, it is telling that the total number of red blood cells you have okay so as i told you that these red blood cells carry fresh oxygen throughout the body so normal value for rbc in male is 4.7 to 6.1 million cells per cubic mm and for female it is 4.2 to 5.4 million cells per cubic mm so if you have values less than that then might be there is problem in your body so if you found that your rbcs are more means they are increased in number then might be there are some problems like if you have any dehydration problem or if suppose you are smoking cigarette then also your rbc count will increase if suppose any congenital heart disease are there then your rbc count will increase if suppose you have high altitude or low oxygen level in the blood medication like uh, gentamicin and methyl dopas are uh, going for any other treatment then also your rbc count will increase or if suppose you have any kidney tumor then also your rbc count will increase then in condition where rbc counts are decreased than normal values so if you have your rbc counts below your normal values then might be you are having the anemia or any malnutrition like deficiency of iron folate copper vitamin b6 and vitamin b12 if suppose you are having any hemorrhage means any bleeding is there in your inside your body then also your rbc count decreases then in pregnancy also you sometimes what happen your rbc count decreases in case of leukemia your rbc decreases and if suppose you are going any other medications like chloramphenicol quinidine or any other cancer drug are uh, going on for the your any other illness or for the cancer treatment then also your rbc count decreases other conditions like bone marrow failure erythropoietin deficiency hemolysis multiple myelomas in these condition also your rbc count decreases so if your rbc counts either increases or decreases you just check it out that what are the possibilities you might have the about the diseases then the second thing we have to check in the cbc report is hemoglobin actually hemoglobin is an iron containing protein found in your red blood cells so what happen it gives the color and shape to the red blood cells and is responsible for carrying oxygen throughout the body so the normal values will be different for the newborn babies adult and children also okay so if suppose a newborn is there so his hemoglobin will be 17 to 22 g per deciliter then after one week newborn hemoglobin will be 15 to 20 after one month it will be decreased to 11 to 15 you know value then after the age of 1 year his hemoglobin will range between 11 to 13 then adult men is range between 14 to 18 g per deciliter whereas adult female must have between uh, 12 to 16 so these are the reference ranges or we can say normal ranges where your uh, hemoglobin will be there if you do not have any illness so if your hemoglobin uh, value is decreasing below the normal values then it can be due to loss of blood due to injury or surgery or because of the nutritional deficiencies if suppose you are taking any cancer drug then it might be possible that your hemoglobin will decrease or if suppose you are having kidney failure then also your hemoglobin count will decreases then if suppose your hemoglobin value increases so this can be due to many conditions if suppose you are living in a high altitude then those people you know their hemoglobin values are always higher you will surprise to know that people who smoke their hemoglobin is always high if suppose you are facing dehydration then it's possible that this dehydration will falsely tell you that your hemoglobin is high which disappear on the restoration of the fluid balance after dehydration then if suppose you are having lung disease like emphysema then also your hemoglobin value will increase if suppose you have bone marrow disorder then also your hemoglobin will be more in some condition if you are taking erythropoietin in high doses like means you are abusing that drug then also your hemoglobin value will increases in your cbc test there is certain cancers or tumors also there is increase in your hemoglobin value even in sickle cell anemia or thalassemia condition 
you can see there is abnormal hemoglobin changes. Now in your CBC result there is also one value we called PCV or hematocrit. So this refers to the volume percentage of red blood cells in the blood and tends to change by altitude and by heavy smoking. Normal value of hematocrit will be 42 to 52 percent in men whereas in women it will be 35 to 45 percent. Actually this hematocrit or PCV you know this indicate that you are dehydrated. A decreased hematocritic uh, value means you have anemia whereas abnormal hematocrit level will be also a sign of a blood or bone marrow disorder. Another thing we notice in the CVC value is mean corpuscular volume means MCV. It refers to the average volume of red blood cell size based on the red blood corpuscles. This is achieved by multiplying a volume of blood by the proportion of blood that is cellular and dividing that product by the number of erythrocyte in that volume. Based on the cell measurement, anemia is classified as microcytic it means MCV below normal and normocytic that means MCV within the normal and macrocytic it means MCV above normal. So normal value for MCV is 80 to 99 FL means femtoliters. This abnormal MCV level may be a sign of anemia, alcoholism, thalassemia and reticulocytosis. Then if you go ahead you will see there MCH value means corpuscular hemoglobin. This thing refers to the average mass of the hemoglobin per red blood cell in a sample of blood. So its normal value is 27 to 31 picograms per cell. So basically it shows that decrease in MCV means hyperchromic anemia. Similar to this you will also see there MCHC it means mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration. It refers to the measure of the concentration of hemoglobin in a given volume of packed red blood cells. So normal volume for this MCHC is 32 to 36 gram per deciliter. So if you have microcytic anemia then this hypochromic value will decrease in value. And increase in this hyperchromic value means you have hereditary sparocytosis, sickle cell anemia and homozygous hemoglobin C disease. After this you will find their RDW this means red blood cell distribution width. So it refers to the range in the volume and the size of your red blood cells. Higher values known as anisocytosis. This indicates greater variation in size and helps in determining the possible cause of anemia. Normal range for the RDW is 11 to 15 percent. And increase in RW value means you have pernicious anemia. Now the one more important thing you will see in your CBC report is WBC. Actually this WBC is present in a body only the 1% of your bloods. But it plays a significant role in maintaining good health and protect against illness and sickness and other diseases. Neutrophils, eosinophils, basophils, monocytes and lymphocytes are the various types of WBC. So if your WBC count decreases then we call this condition leukemia and if your WBC count increases in number then we call it leukocytosis. Normal range for WBC in your body is 4500 to 10,000 cells per microliter and decrease in WBC may be due to the bone marrow deficiency or we can say the disease of the liver or spleen exposure to radiation also sometimes decrease your WBC and if suppose there is increase in your WBC value then it shows that maybe you are having anemia or an infection is there or if suppose there is problem with your inflammatory system or sometimes you know WBC count increases because of the inflammatory disease or as I told you that may be due to leukemia or bone marrow tumor. So these are the condition where WBC really matters you know for the condition you have to find out whether it is increasing or in decreasing condition. Then another thing we will find in the WBC is blood differential count. It measures the number of each of the five types of WBC which I told you earlier in your blood like neutrophils, lymphocyte, monocyte, eosinophils and basophils. So for each types of this WBC they have different normal values. 
so for neutrophils it is 40 to 75 percent of your wbc then for lymphocyte it is 25 percent to 40 percent of wbc for monocyte it is 2 percent to 8 percent of your wbc count and for eosinophils it is 0 percent to 7 percent of wbc and for basophils it is 0 to 1 percent of your wbc so if suppose your neutrophil count increase so if your neutrophil count increase it shows that you are having bacterial or acute viral infection and if suppose your neutrophil uh, value is decreasing it shows that you are having a plastic anemia and in condition maybe you have uh, gone under uh, chemotherapy or radiotherapy in case of lymphocyte if it is increasing it shows that you are having viral infection and chronic lymphocytic leukemia and if suppose its value is decreasing this is really serious if its value is decreasing it shows that you are having hiv infection another wbc monocyte if its value is increasing it means you are having bacterial infection malaria tuberculosis monocytic uh, leukemia or chronic ulcerative colitis and many more whereas eosinophil count increased in parasitic infection asthma or allergic reaction whereas uh, basinophil count increase in leukemia or lymphoma now another important thing which uh, we used to see in the cbc report is platelet platelets are nothing but small or colorless disc shaped cell found in large numbers in your blood and are responsible for your blood to clot so this platelet count it will measure the number of platelets in your blood. A normal platelet count ranges between uh, 1,50,000 to 4,50,000 per microliter of blood. Whereas increased platelet, you know, it means that maybe you are having thrombocytosis or decreased platelet value is termed as thrombocytopenia. Talking about the normal value of platelet, then in adult, it must be from 1,40,000 to 4 lakh cells per cubic mm. Whereas in children, it is more. It should be between 1,50,000 to 4,50,000 cells per cubic mm. So if your platelet value increases, it means this platelet is showing that maybe you are having bleeding disorder or iron deficiency is there or if there is cancer or disease of bone marrow. Sometimes this platelet number decreases in pregnancy or thrombocytopenia purpura. Now if we go to another point, it is MPV. It means mean platelet volume. It refers to the machine calculated measurement of the average size of platelet found in your blood. And the normal range or normal value for the MPV is 7.5 to 11 femtoliter. So this MPV increases if you are having immune thrombocytopenic purpura and myeloproliferative diseases. Whereas abnormally low MPV values are seen primarily with thrombocytopenia due to impaired production that means aplastic anemia so viewers now you have come to know how to read the cbc uh, results if suppose you are having any of this problem or if suppose there is any changes in the numbers or you can say the values of this in your cbc report you can assume or you can correlate with the doctor that you are having such and such problem and immediately rush to your doctor so that he can give you a proper treatment and can diagnose you. So if you like this, please share and subscribe our channel. Thank you.